Uh, rolling. Rolling. Right, so just in case you guys were wondering what's in our wine glasses, it's not wine. It's kombucha. I think it's kombucha. What did I say? This is non E. coli lettuce. <laughs> don't buy romaine. It's right there, we don't trust it. They could be lying. Are they lying to us? I don't know. I just don't want I don't want that. I don't, I don't have time for E. coli in my life right now. <laughs> Two options for cucumbers, but naturally. Like English cucumbers? Yeah, or. Do I look British to you? You look like this cuke right here. That's me. How you doing? I am a Persian cucumber. Shaped like a Persian right? cucumber. You're actually kind of shaped yeah. like one. Yeah, that is you. So I'm Sarah Golosani and this is uh, Emily. Duh. Duh, Emily. <laughs> today, yes, listen, today we're today. salads. Everyone everyone assumes eating healthy salad. And then they assume that salads are just like this bleh, yeah. This bland, like not fun thing to eat. Exactly. We're here to change your mind on that. We got some salad vibes today. Ooh. So we got two. We got two. On her side, we have a summer salad, nice, fresh, easy. You can have it's December. You can have it in the winter. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over here on my left, I'm coming with the warm salad, the cozy salad, like you know Netflix and chill salad. She's supposed to say all oh, this is undiet approved. It is. It's undiet is about teaching you how to like. Obviously, we're doing salads today. We're gonna do a lot of things in these videos, but it's just teaching you like it's not about restriction. Mm-hmm. Not about that. It's we're welcoming eating. It's learning how to eat real foods that exactly. are unprocessed. We don't count macros. I don't care about that. We're not eating a salad because it's low carb. We're adding carbs on it. Like this is yeah, about exactly. getting nutrients from as many plants. So let's start with this salad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this. What is this called? Green leaf. Oh, uh, this was green leaf lettuce. I want a nice crisp like leaf. I think it's if you want to do a mixed green, you could too. Yeah, totally. For sure. Whatever green. But that one that has like a good crunch always works well. Yeah, I really like butter lettuce as well. Because I like the word butter. So then I'm going to add these tiny little tomatoes and Persian cucumbers. You can use other cucumbers if you like, like English cucumbers or what other cucumbers She's are proud. Add the cucumbers <laughs> and these little tiny tomatoes. The reason why they're so tiny is because they're organic and we love that. <laughs> so we don't have to chop it. Add some green onions. Just to add like a punch of flavor, you know? You can use regular like red onions if that's what you like. But then I'm gonna add some nicely chopped avocado. That was a good one that we picked. Yeah, right? Picking the right avocado is like an art. I'm gonna add something that I usually don't add, but we feel like it'll add like an extra like summery, nice, yeah. fresh, sweet taste. And it's actually the seasonal fruit right now with a yes. good winter. So it's fresh pear. So I'm just gonna add some of that. I'm a big fan of this. Oh, the nut cheese. Oh, it's going. Oh, Ches. Sorry. Ches. Ches. If you guys ever hear us say Ches, which you probably do if you follow us on Instagram, huh? Um, we talk about this a lot. So Ches, Ches is life. You won't be able to tell the difference. Like it tastes like cream cheese. It's so delicious. They have different flavors. This one is scallion. This one's cashew. Yeah, this one is cashew. Just cashew, actually. Okay. And it's probiotics in it. Ooh, I like it's double. Cashew. Actually, fool people. People like. We'll like be sitting together and yeah. people be dipping in this cheese like, oh, this is such good cheese. What is it? And it's made out of cashews. Uh, tree line, if you're watching this. Sponsored post. Yeah, hook us up. Hook us up. This is very soft. So what I did is I made little dollops. Oh, dollop. What a good word. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze the lemon. Some cold pressed olive oil. You know, in this household, we love olive oil and yep. olives. Olives. All, all of things are welcome. Then... Use your salt of choice. I chose this one in Emily's cupboard because it was pink. Algae sea salt. Fresh. Fresh. Salad. This is the fresh. Have this stuff done in your refrigerator, like already yeah. chopped up, put in sealed containers. And that way for the next couple of days, you can just throw just together your salad, together. do your dressing or right Or make those the mason jar salads or where you stack it in exactly. a mason jar and then have your dressing on the yeah. side. Dump. Easy. Shake. Eat. Done. Perfect for work. Done. All right, cozy salad time. Cozy salad this time. Is, you know, you want something warm. Like sometimes mm -hmm. you're just not in the mood for a cold salad. Yeah, exactly. This is gonna take us just as quick as this one. And it's hearty, you know? It is. This one's gonna fill, this is when you're like hungry, hungry. Yeah, yeah. Kale, 
I lightly sauteed it just in a little bit of avocado oil. Yeah. So we're going to throw that if on. If you want like a more of a salad-y texture, you just put it on for less. You just want it to kind yeah. of warm up. Quinoa. So easy to make. I feel like a lot of people actually avoid quinoa because they don't know how to make it. Mm -hmm. Literally the same way as rice. And quinoa is actually high in protein. It is. It's a complete protein. It, it is a plant like, complete protein. Yeah, if you feel like, oh, I need protein in my salad, your quinoa is this. Is it is. Squash. Oh, I love squash so mm -hmm. much. Um, little food fact, squash is so good for digestive health. Oh, wow. So if you have any digestive inflammation or anything, it is amazing for it. Use sweet potato if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, we went with squash. It's, it was actually already chopped. We're not going to lie. It was already chopped up. This yeah. was Yeah, this was avocado oil as well in the pan until it's nice and soft. I like mine to be a little bit brown. Ooh, this is oh, looking, that's good. looking good. And on top, you can do walnuts, cashews. I like pecan, pe pecans, pecans. Pe pecans. I say pecans. I say pecans too. Yeah, I think pecans is an American thing. So it's because we're, we're both Canadians. Yeah. Medjool dates. Mm -hmm. um, do you say medjool? Medjool. Yeah. Right? But I'm, I'm saying I'm Middle Eastern, so should I say it properly? Yeah, how do you what say it properly? It? I don't know. Medjool? Medjool. Majul dates. Yeah, what she said. We just chop them up. Um, they come with pits in it, but you can just easily chop them up. And it will give such a good little, like, sweet taste to it. And you know what's funny? I actually don't like dates, so I don't eat them on their own ever. But for some reason, I love them in salad. Just yeah. got the brand new new, so. Yeah, and flashback to the grocery store. Exactly. And you'll see our little um, decision making on the mustard and yep. what's on diet approved. Being for mustard. Okay, I went for this one because I'm like, ah, the container looks like it's healthy, you know. Uh, mustard seed, red wine vinegar, da 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 da. Sugar. Rude. Sticks on the shelf. This one. It's a hard pick though. You win this round. Thank you. Um, water, organic mustard seeds, organic vinegar, salt, organic turmeric, turmeric, however you want to say it, and spices. Wow. Approved. Read your labels, people. That's the most important principle of a diet. Exactly. Is how to read your labels. I just kind of came up with this dressing the other day. We're gonna go know. smidge. No measurements here, you know. This is just how I cook and make things. Like, so I smidge. Don't know so I'm gonna put some apple cider vinegar. You don't want to use too much because it is a very strong taste. Again, like after you can just like go by taste and add in whatever. Are you is. making just enough for this? Yes. Okay. So if you want to make like some to last, you'll obviously make do larger more, quantity. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I usually do is I add garlic powder as well. That's optional. You could add like minced garlic if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. So. Oh, this looks good. It's creamy. Perfect. Perfect. Look, she knew. But yeah, you can do a whole like half a jar and then just keep that bad boy exactly. in the fridge. Exactly. So it cuts down on your salad prep time. Even though this took. Mm, and the quinoa, look, you can do a whole thing of quinoa, like a pot of quinoa. Put that in an uh, air sealed container. Yeah. Put that in the fridge. That's a week. The kale is gonna last. All and then if last. you prepare, like, let's say, like, you want to change it up all week. You want warm and cold, and you kind of like prepare things yeah. and put it in the fridge. Like, the warm you can warm it up after yeah. it's cold. Do a little. You saute. can also cross combine. Cross -breed? You know, no. like, why not add a little green onion? Oh, now you, you know? get. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you want some pear? You can add some pear. So you, like, you try to you put your salad on mine. <laughs> wow. And also, wait, this is our cover image. <laughs> um, quinoa to this salad, go ahead. Like, there are no rules. The only rules are eat real food, people. Eat real food. Eat real food. Eat real food. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you behind it. Oh, yeah. it's real salad. Yeah. You're not know, already following at Undiet System. Yep, and yep. you can, if you didn't come from our Instagram, I'm at Sahara Lo Sunny. I'm at Fit and Fitness. Adios, yes. muchachos. We're gonna eat now.